this is T with Cage Crafted Closet, and I'm here to show you how to make this really simple and easy masculine Christmas card for all the guys in your life and, and the ones that are on your Christmas card list. So let's go ahead and get started with that. This is a standard A2 size card using some Nina Solo White Classic Crest Cardstock, the 110 pound version. So I'm gonna put that to the side. Then I had I went ahead and cut up some. This is measured two and three quarters by four and a half. Um, this is just some postal board type of I picked up at Hobby Lobby on clearance a while back. I'm just trying to use up things in my stash, but you can just go ahead and use a paper pad. Um, or you can also use a stamp if you have one of these plaid stamps, and you can stamp it on, use black on some red paper or so you can get that taken care of that way. So let's put that to the side. Then I went ahead and die cut um, using the fancy oval dies from Spellbinders, some a white piece, which I go, went ahead already and adhered it to the inside of the card. So that's for our greeting. You can do different colors if you want to. I just chose to go with white. So, and the next thing I went ahead and did and used some Cricut white glitter paper and this is the largest deer from the winter wonderland set by Sizzix and tim holtz like i said i will do the best that i can to link all the products that i use in today's video in the description box below so we'll put that to the side and then we're going to come in grab our panel and grab this i already put some adhesive on this before um because unfortunately i was filming and it wasn't filming and recording so there's already some double-sided adhesive on it, and I'm going to do the best that I can to line this up without it overhanging because it shouldn't. And boom, that's why I decided to use some um, tape runner like that so I don't run the risk of that. So I'm going to go ahead and wet some uh, liquid glue here. I'm going to put it onto the back of our stag. And like I said, this is some Cricut glitter paper. And I always should know better. Squeeze the glue out on the side so you don't get extra going on here. A couple little dots on the antlers and on the little small places. It's not like I'm not super concerned that it's 100% adhered down. Um, you can also put double-sided tape on this and die cut it out if you want. That way you have adhesive already onto the back. It's usually a good idea for small parts like this. And I'm just going to put the deer onto that. It's a little bit of a slick surface, so it's not going to grab right away. So that's okay. We'll get it'll it'll need a moment to do that, and it's going to need some down here as well. And boom, there we go. We got that taken care of. Okay, and then I went ahead and used some of my snowflake punches. If you don't have a snowflake punch, you most certainly can use a snowflake die. So here I have some larger ones, and then I have some smaller ones. So let's go ahead and grab some more glue, and I'm just going to put a dot in the center of that. Or maybe I'm not. There we are. And I'll put a little bit on the tips of the snowflake so it doesn't, when we go to put it inside of an envelope, it doesn't um, rip off of the, the project or the card. So I'm going to put this into the center of the little panel over here. And if it's not centered, that's okay. I'm not going to stress that out. Okay. And there we go. We're going to have a little bit of sentiment on top of that so it'll help adhere that down. Then we have some smaller snowflakes. I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue in the center of it. If I gotta use my finger to do that, I will. And I'm gonna put one down here. I'm gonna have a little bit of overhang, but I'm gonna go ahead and trim that off when I'm done. And then I'm gonna go ahead and grab another snowflake. And I also do a little bit of it hanging off, and like I said, we'll just trim it up um, with a pair of scissors. I'm gonna put it there, because that's kind of where it wants to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab some scissors that I thought were close by to me. And you know, scissors are never close by, right? They're never close by when you need them because I was looking for my detailed scissors, um, but that's okay. 
we will improvise with what we have close hand. This is just a pair of scissors. Um, let's use the Tim Holtz ones instead. At least I know they're sharp and get a good cut of them. Okay, so I'm just gonna do the best I can to butt this up against the card stop and just trim off those snowflakes. Uh, if I wasn't putting it in an envelope, I wouldn't even bother trimming it off, to be honest with you. If I was hand delivering this, I wouldn't trim it off. But, but since this is going to be mailed, I'm going to go ahead and trim it off. Okay, so put the top on my glue because I think we're pretty much done with that. And the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is like we're going to do our sentiment strip. So I, ha I already have my sentiment sitting inside of my little mini We Are Memory Keepers Precision Press. It's a Merry Christmas from Hero Arts. And this is just a half inch strip of black cardstock. So I'm just going to kind of put that in here, make sure, and then we'll line it up in a second. But before we do that, we're going to put some white ink on it using a little mini dauber. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my ink on there and I'm going to grab that sentiment. This because it's in an awkward spot. It's hard for me to grab the whole ink pad. And I also find that I get better coverage with smaller ones and I don't over ink it when I use this method. So this is just a Memento Lux wedding dress ink pad, but any white ink pad will certainly do. So I'm going to not push it down just yet because I got to line up this sentiment on this piece of paper and then we'll, we will lightly, we will lightly press down on it to get an impression and we'll take a look and like, okay, perfect. We're good with that and what I'm going to do is and you don't have to do this if you don't want to I am going to just going to go ahead and dip it into some white embossing powder which this is from ink on three called arctic whites just so we can make it a little pop a little bit more so it's like you don't have to use a Versamark you can use a pigment ink because it stays wet and we're going to grab our heating tool and then we're going to melt our embossing powder. Like, like watch the magic. I love watching. And like this stragglers of embossing powder on here. And I'm okay with that because it just to me is going to be like it's snowed onto our sentiment piece. You can always tell when your heat embossing is melting. It gets shiny. It goes from that dull look and it turns shiny as you can see so we're just waiting on that C to do its thing boom gotcha so here we go let it cool off before I go ahead and touch it with my fingers so I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to trim this down really close to the edge just so it can fit inside of that snowflake okay then we're going to bring back in our card and then we're going to take in some these are some foam adhesive squares these are some smaller ones um, that I've had in my stash for quite some time and I forgot that I had them so I'm just going to put four of them on here just so we have a little bit of dimension onto the sentiment I'm not super concerned about lining them up and being perfect because it'll be okay. So we're done with that. Let's go ahead and peel off the um, release paper and then we can adhere this to the front of our card. Okay. So that kind of put this into that front of that big snowflake and do the best to line it up. And if it doesn't, we're okay with that. Remember that. Okay, then I have these little gems. I'm going to go ahead and put these on the snowflakes. On the edge of the snowflakes. Like two of them want to come apart, but that's okay. We will, we will make it work. Like Pokey Tool works great if you have tweezers. Those reverse tweezers will work good as well. I just have better luck with this. I'm going to put these little on the end 
of the snowflakes. And, I, and on the small ones, I'll put them in the center of the snowflakes. And if they have adhesive on these already, so it makes it a little bit easier to pick up. Like, isn't this a fun card? Like a really good masculine card. Um, Cause I know a lot of us have a hard time giving cards to the guys in our life. Because we fear that they won't like it if it's too foo foo. And, but this one is not foo foo. Got a little bling on it, but that's okay. And got a little glitter on it, that's okay. I don't mind getting these kind of cards. So, that right there completes our card for today. You all, I want to thank you for joining me. And if you like this tutorial, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up, as well as to hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And when a notification bell pops up, I'm gonna go ahead and hit that so you get notified um, when I upload new videos to YouTube. So again, thank you for joining me and you all have a crafty day, y'all.